Sadly, everyone and everything comes to an end and fades into oblivion. Planets, stars, entire galaxies, and even the universe itself will probably turn into dust at some point. This will happen later rather than sooner, but the process has already begun and can be observed, even on a galactic scale. In this episode, you'll learn how and why galaxies die, and witness firsthand how this happens. You'll see how similar we are to galaxies when it comes to death. Much like humans, some galaxies slowly wither away from old age. Others die almost instantly in intergalactic accidents. There is even such thing as a suicidal galaxy hurling into the ominous universal abyss. Dying Galaxies So, let's start our journey with NGC 1947 Galaxy, peacefully living its last days. The galaxy was first discovered by Scottish astronomer James Dunlop on November 5, 1826. At that time, the scientist had been working for six years in Australia, in the Pirate Observatory of Sir Thomas of Brisbane. This was a very lucky location, since this galaxy can only be observed from the Southern Hemisphere. NGC 1947 is 45 million light years away from us. This is relatively close when you take into account the size of the observable universe, which is about 90 billion light years across. You can observe the galaxy in the Dorado constellation. Visible dimensions are 3.00 by 2.6 arc minutes. This is 60 times the angular diameter of Uranus. The galaxy is so dim, it's almost impossible to see it with the naked eye. However, one can easily see it with a telescope. This impressive photo was taken by the Hubble Orbiting Telescope with the onboard Hubble Wide Field Camera. What made this photo possible is a glitch in the telescope software. The research project was put on hold for a few days on the account of the glitch, and NASA was able to publish this spectacular picture once the project was reopened. The image was obtained by means of exposure blending, with each separate being taken in the visible and infrared parts of the spectrum. Here, we can see an extended streak of stardust that crosses the galactic center, and three parallel minor axis dust streaks resembling concentric rings. The most massive dust strip crosses the galactic center in the southwest direction. The remaining streaks are less pronounced and run parallel to the central one. You can see them in the northeastern part. Structurally, NGC 1947 Galaxy also contains a molecular gas ring and a disc-shaped formation of ionized gas in the galactic center. Most notably, the star's orbit lies along the major axis of the galaxy, perpendicular to the rotation axis of the gas. As scientists suggest, this kinematic property is observed in most elliptical galaxies with similar morphology. Some scientists go as far as to suggest the possible external origin of the curved gaseous disk, but these ideas haven't gone very far. In the foreseeable future, the natural cause will bring the galaxy to its ultimate demise. Having already lost most of the material making up its spiral arms, the galaxy has less and less matter needed to form new stars. It's so easy to see how galactic sleeves have literally withered away, looking like a giant, grotesque skeleton. Stars will completely cease to form in a short period of time, and the galaxy will slowly fade away for billions of years. Now, let's move on with our research mission and explore the Coma Cluster. You'd have to cover a distance of about 330 million light years to find a galaxy still full of life, but which is rapidly getting closer to its own destruction. And this is not a figure of speech. This enchanting sight has also been brought to us by the same legendary Hubble Orbiting Telescope. In 2007, the Subaru Ground-Based Telescope in Hawaii delivered something astounding. It was this telescope 
that for the first time ever took a picture of the gigantic gas trail left behind by this galaxy. The image combines a series of pictures taken in the visible range by Hubble's Advanced Camera for Surveys, with the tail being artificially colored based on data from the Subaru telescope. Some truly dramatic events unravel here. Trapped in the monstrous gravity of the hair of Veronica Cluster, the D100 galaxy rushes at great speed towards its center. The hydrogen gas trail stretches for 200,000 light years and is 400,000 times heavier than our Sun. What's even more interesting is that intense star formation activity is taking place in the tail itself. This has been proved by Hubble registering discernible blotches of blue glow along the tail. At the center of the photo, one can spot a tiny blue area. In fact, this represents a huge chunk of space and the birthplace of at least 200,000 new stars. But all of this bizarre activity is, in its essence, a death show. As the galaxy moves, it loses hydrogen, which fuels the star formation process. This happens due to intergalactic matter interaction, which literally forces hydrogen out of the galaxy. The impending destiny that awaits the D100 galaxy is unfolding before our very eyes today. All we need to do is look at its neighbor, D99. In the photo, one can see it to the left of the D100. Between 500 million and 1 billion years ago, it has gone through the same process. D99 was a fully mature spiral galaxy, but as it fell to the center of the cluster, it lost most of its matter, making the spiral structure collapse. Presently, all that remains in the galaxy is a bunch of old stars. Fast forward several hundred million years, D100 will face the same fate. Our final destination will bring us very far, about 9 billion light years away from Earth. It is there that another dying galaxy is located. ID 2299 Galaxy was discovered by astronomers from the University of Durham in the UK using the Alma Radio Observatory in Chile. This was a lucky coincidence when scientists looked at the results of observations of more than a hundred distant galaxies in the course of studying the properties of cold gas. It became clear right away that this object hides a host of unexpected discoveries. Never before have scientists seen a galaxy that would die such a quick and violent death. First, the galaxy is throwing hydrogen into space at an alarming rate. The ejection rate is equivalent to 10,000 solar masses per year. Secondly, active star formation is taking place in the galaxy at a completely insane pace, hundreds of times faster than our own Milky Way galaxy. And free hydrogen is also spent on new stars. To have a better grasp of what's happening, Let's compare these processes with our galaxy. The Milky Way's star formation rate is about three solar masses per year. In ID 2299, hundreds of times more. Galaxies in which 100 solar masses of hydrogen per year leave for the birth of stars are considered in astronomical terms as starburst galaxies. Their short lifespan is what defines them. But ID 2299 also loses 10,000 solar masses of hydrogen per year. There is no doubt that the galaxy is doomed to fade away in the very near future. At the time of observation, it had already lost almost half of its hydrogen, 46% to be exact. According to scientists, ID 2299 will completely go out after only a few tens of millions of years, which is literally in a minute in the universe terms. So what was the tragedy that happened to ID 2299 that doomed literally billions of distant worlds? Scientists believe that the collision of two galaxies is to blame. 
actually, the ID2299 galaxy itself is already a kind of hybrid of two colliding parents. This is indicated by the presence of the so-called tidal tail, a characteristic sign of the merger of two galaxies. It is in this tail that the hydrogen ejected into space is concentrated. What makes this really ironic is that our homeworld can face something similar in the future. Right now, our Milky Way and the nearest neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, are hurtling towards each other at a speed of about 100 kilometers per second. In 4.5 billion years, they may well eventually collide, or they can drift apart on a tangent. Well, we'll see what happens. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. This motivates us to do more exciting videos like this one.